This is notes 11 1 laws of logarithms. Super easy stuff. As this is stated out, when we have two variables touching, we know that means multiplication. So to undo or expand multiplication, we turn it into addition as two separate logs. So this would be log base bn plus log base bn. Now the opposite would be division, right? Well, the opposite of addition is subtraction. So to undo a fraction, you do subtraction. So it would be log base bm minus log base bn. That would be written like that. So this can be written like this. If I had this, I can make it, this is called condensing when I go back. Expanding when I go here, because it's getting bigger. And condensing when I take this and go backwards. Okay? If it's raised to a power, always put the power in the front. Okay? So this would be log base BM raised to the K power is what this is saying. So I'll take that K, slide it to the front dungeon. So this guy here. Clearly we have multiple things that are touching each other, so that means five is being multiplied times A times B. So how many logs am I gonna write down? If there's three things being multiplied? Three. three different logs. So if I'm expanding, so I'm expanding. So this would be log base two, five, and because it's multiplication, to break them apart I use addition plus log base two, A, plus log base to B. So I just took and I expanded this guy to this guy. Okay? All right, next one. The next one is a fraction. So we said fractions. What undoes a fraction? Subtraction. So we have log base 5, 8, minus log base 5, x. Too easy. Okay, now we're adding another step to it. Now we've got exponents, and all we said was that the exponents, they move to the front. But this is still multiplication going on here, because things are touching, so these are all individual logs. So 6 has its own, x squared be its own, y to the third is its own. So here we go log base 2, 6, plus, this one had an exponent, so it goes to the front of the bus, 2 log base 2, x, plus, this one has an exponent, exponent goes to the front of the bus, 3 log base 2, y. Okay. So far, so easy? No. For real? I'll ask later. Okay. okay, so this guy here does another little step. First thing you want to do the top first, then you was, we're going to subtract the bottom. Okay? We do the top first, then we start subtracting out the bottom stuff. Alright? So we have, on top, it's multiplication. One of them has an exponent. So we have log base 3, 4, plus, this one had an exponent, so that's 2 log base 3a. Now we're subtracting because it's being divided by these guys. Subtract log base 3b. Subtract again. This guy had an exponent, so it has to go to the front of the bus. 2 log Base 3b. Ah, c, 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 I said. Sorry, c. Okay. Alright, flip it. Okay, when I flip it. Alright, I've got a square root. Okay, square root equates to a half, okay? So we treat it, to undo it, when I'm undoing it, we're gonna treat it with a one half, okay? So for this guy here, it has a couple of things going on. It's got a fraction, which is division, which means I use subtraction, okay? But it's also got the square root, which square root is one half, okay? What do you think cube root would be? 
one third. Third, okay? So this guy here would be written one half, and because these guys treat it like it's a parenthesis because it's an enclosure, so I put this guy into an enclosure, one half. The A had an exponent of five, so it goes to the front, five log A, and it's being divided by B, so I subtract log B, close it. Okay, it was five, it was one half because we took away the square root, so that's where we got the one half. The five came from our exponent, five log A, and because being divided, that means subtract, and on the bottom it was just a B, there's no exponent, so it's just log B. Now we're going backwards. We're taking it from expanded form and making it back into a condensed form. So it says plus, we know plus means what? Adding, which is multiplying when we go backwards. Okay, so this would be log base five, and it's a seven and an x, but what do you notice about the x? It has a what in front? Five. A Three, so that would be to the third power. Remember, anything in front means it's a power. So it goes right here with the x. Okay, raise it up. So this, it's plus, so that means that 7 times x. The 3 was with the x, so it's at the front of the log with the x. So it goes as the exponent for only the x. Okay, set, the next one is subtraction, so I tell you right now it's going to be a what? Fraction. Fraction. So we have log base 2, x over 3. Okay? Yeah, I don't think you're going to find the fraction. <laughs> Too easy? So easy. I know it. All right, next one. We have a one half out front. What did one half tell me? It's a power, but that means square root, because we can't have a one half power, right? Okay, so it is going to be a square root on number eight. Okay, so we have, and it's subtraction, right? So that's a what? Subtraction means a fraction. So we have log base six, and this one half goes with the m, so that's Square root of m over the 3 goes with the n, so that's n to the third, third power. Okay, <laughs> too easy. This guy here has a 3 being multiplied times all of it. Whenever we have something multiplying times all of it, it goes with both of them. Okay, so inside we have log base 2 and subtraction, so we know it's a fraction, a over b. Okay, and because this is a 3 here, all right, that means it has to go with each one of these guys as our exponents. We can do that with one fatal swoop by just doing that. Now you could have put log base 2 a to the third power over log base 2 b to the third power. It's the same thing, but why do that when we can condense it even more? Okay, this guy here, just going down the line. Plus means multiply. So we have log base 3, 4 times m raised to the third power and subtract means divide and to the second power too easy flip it next up so as you use the change base formula, guys, we're not doing change base formulas. We're going to just pop these bad boys in like you did last time and get the answers. So you take your old calculator and we hit math. <coughs> see, God bless you. Math, arrow up 
out twice. Okay, log base two, 25, hit enter. And we're gonna go to the nearest, uh, I tell you what, let's go three decimal places because of the project, I think we have to go three decimal places. So we're gonna go to this guy here, which means I look to the one to the right, it's an eight, so that rounds that three up to a four. So 4.644. <laughs> okay, next one, log with a base 5, and it's 12, and this guy, I'm rounding to this guy, so I look to the right of it, it's a 9, so I round him up to a 4, this is 1.544. Next one, Let's flying through them here, log base 0 0.05, no, 0 0.5, right? Mm -hmm. 0.5 and 5 and we're looking at this guy here that's a 9 so it raises that to a 2 so it'll be negative 2.322 okay and our last one what's our last one anybody got to guess what that one's going to be from our last week no it's going to be no solution. no solution or undefined mm -hmm. Okay, watch what it does. When I put that guy in, because we can't have a negative in that log. So we have math, log base, two, negative four, and not real solutions, so no solution or undefined. Okay, you're gonna do in, a, I'm sorry, A, 11, one, you're going to do numbers. You're going to do numbers, numbers, numbers. You want to circle them up. You're doing numbers. One, two, four, six. Four, six. Uh, nine, ten. Thirteen. Eighteen, nineteen. Twenty-three, twenty-four. There you go. This concludes notes for eleven one.